What is the definition of gratitude? If you look in the dictionary, you can see that gratitude is a feeling towards someone for the kindness and attention rendered. How is this feeling of gratitude expressed? Sometimes you can just nod your head in gratitude, and sometimes you can do a good deed in return, and maybe even save someone's life out of gratitude. People often return kindness for kindness. What about animals? Can they show gratitude? And how can they do it? This is what we will tell you about in our story today. This incredible story happened on the island of Barneo, which is located in Southeast Asia. By that time, the rainy season had already ended and nature shone with bright colors and dense greenery. Local residents returned to their usual activities. The main sources of income on the island are fishing and trade in exotic birds. The protagonist of this story is a local fisherman who, after the end of the rainy season, often went fishing to feed himself and his family. On this day, he got up early, took a machete in his hands so that it would be more convenient to make his way through the overgrown jungle, and went to the lake to catch fish. After the heavy rain, the jungle grew by leaps and bounds. The familiar paths were completely hidden by the new, fresh growth of bushes, and only with the help of a machete, the man managed to make his way. Hitting once again on a huge branch to go forward, the man heard a furious growl very close to him. He carefully parted the bushes and saw a terrifying picture. A helpless baby orangutan lay on the ground a couple of meters from him, and a huge leopard loomed over it, baring its teeth. It was just a matter of time before the beast would tear the baby to pieces. High above them, another orangutan screamed furiously. Most likely it was the baby's father, but at that moment he could do nothing. He could only scream helplessly. The man felt sorry for the little orangutan, and he decided to help it somehow. At that moment, the fisherman, without even thinking about his own safety, began to lure the attention of the huge leopard to himself. He screamed at the top of his voice and then threw a broken branch at the leopard. In the blink of an eye, the leopard forgot about the primate and turned towards the man. Then the man ran, without looking back, not knowing where he was going. Only a few steps separated the man from the leopard when the forest suddenly opened and the man found himself in an empty clearing. For some reason, the leopard did not come out of the forest after him. He remained standing by the tree, staring at the man. Why didn't he attack, wondered the man. Only after that did he realize in terror why the leopard had not jumped after him. Looking down at his feet, he understood everything. Now he was standing right in the middle of the marsh bog, which was sucking him into its abyss with great speed. Within a couple of moments, the man was sunk up to his knees, and a few minutes after that, he was waist deep in the swamp. The leopard, realizing that he would no longer have a meal, turned around and slowly went back into the forest thicket. And the man, realizing that he could not get out of the swamp, began to look around in search of at least some kind of salvation. By the time the man was chest deep, he noticed a large dark figure emerging from the forest. It was a huge orangutan. Without knowing why, the man extended his hand to the orangutan. Did he think this wild animal was going to help him? But the man was desperate. However, the orangutan did not budge. He just stood there and watched the man drown. When the man sank down to his chin, he looked the huge animal straight in the eyes, and after that, he completely disappeared into the quagmire. Only his hand, as the last hope, remained. And then, as his last hope faded away, the man suddenly felt incredible warmth in his hand, then a burning pain from the fact that someone was tightly squeezing his wrist. And after that, some unknown force pulled him out of the deadly abyss of the swamp and threw him to solid ground. The man's eyes were obscured by mud, his nose and mouth were full of marsh water, he could not see anything and he coughed for a long time. By the time he came to his senses and looked around, there was no one there. He looked around hoping to see his savior, but he was completely alone. Who pulled him out of the swamp at the last moment? Was it really the same orangutan who thus managed to thank the man for saving his baby? The man could not fully understand what saved him that day. Friends, what do you think? Who pulled the man out of the swamp? Share your opinion in the comments.